So here we have a brand new unknown ransomware sample that we'll be using to test the latest and most well-known next-gen security solutions. Now I know you can see four of them here, so it might be a little confusing, but they're all basically the same sample, kind of like shapeshifters, just minor variations between them. Each of these are capable of encrypting all of our data that you can see in the machine in the background. So we have all these plays of Shakespeare that you can look at in text format, as well as PDFs the wonderful works of Shakespeare. I want you to think of it as the Library of Alexandria, like this is the last copy of them, and if they're encrypted, that's the end, just to make this video more exciting. But our goal, of course, is to see if unknown encryption behavior is going to be flagged by the behavioral components of each product and stopped in real time. We're going to start off with Windows Defender, Microsoft default security solution that's very popular nowadays. Everybody's using Microsoft Defender. Everything will be turned on as well as connected to the internet with updates. So we're not in any way reducing the capabilities of the products. We're letting them use their cloud sandbox technology or whatever they want to use. And we're simply checking if they can stop the encryption behavior of this unknown sample that was actually created as a simulation by members of our community. So we're going to move this over to our test system and then execute it. While this is happening, I know you may have a lot of questions in terms of, wait, what is the sample like? What does it do? Is it even detectable? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you watch the results because we are going to test a lot of different solutions. So I wanna see how each of them react. And I think you'll learn a lot just by comparing them. And then at the end, I'm gonna do a bit of an FAQ to give you all the technical answers and details. So if you're gonna post some kind of super technical comment about how valid this test is, please wait until the end, watch the whole explanation about what we're trying to do and then let your thoughts be known in the comments below. But as you can see so far, Windows Defender not faring too well here our files are getting encrypted one by one and it's not doing anything. Once again, I want to iterate that everything is turned on. It has full cloud capabilities. This is not a test like I did earlier where I turned off the internet and I was testing the offline protection. This is the best possible protection you can have. And as you can see, our files are still getting encrypted. So if this was some kind of day zero ransomware, this is probably what you would see on the system. We're going to speed this up. But now if we try to open one of these files, which has been encrypted, I just want to show you that the data inside is actually destroyed. So you can see none of this is readable. This has gone from Shakespeare's beautiful English to gibberish. And once again, no alerts from Windows Defender or Microsoft Defender whatsoever. And we will be testing enterprise solutions like Sentinel One, like CrowdStrike in this very video. So make sure you watch till the end. But now let's move on to Bitdefender. So we're going to run the exact same test, exact same sample, same environment. Environment. But this time we have Bitdefender installed and we'll see if it makes any kind of difference. So we begin execution. It's going to sleep for a few seconds to evade detection. Actually, we tested without the sleep and with the sleep. It didn't really make a difference, but it's there in some of the variants. But now it's beginning to encrypt our data. Gone through a couple files so far. And then in about three files, Bitdefender begins disinfection and it's detected something. Let's investigate and see what it has to say. So if we check in our notifications, you can see that we do have some infected file detections. And so it has moved multiple detected threats to quarantine. And if we look at our files, they're totally fine. Like the data inside has not been encrypted. A couple of them may have been deleted, but the rest of it is totally fine. Now, if we take a look at the attack timeline, in the UI, it tells us that Explorer.exe, which is Windows Explorer, tried to launch this program that was detected as exhibiting potentially malicious behavior. And then it tells us what would have happened if it wasn't detected and it says the malicious software is designed to damage your device. If we didn't block it, it could have destroyed your files or stolen private information, which is exactly what ransomware does. Fairly accurate description of the simulation we're running. So other than our three files, our data was actually protected here. Now we're going to try the exact same test once again, but this time we're running Sentinel-1, which is a very popular enterprise EDR solution. A lot of large organizations rely on. It's one of the main competitors to CrowdStrike, which you may have heard of, which we'll also look at a little bit later. But we're going to run the same sample 
and now it's beginning to encrypt our data. Now you may have noticed the window looks a little bit different here. That's just because this is a compilation of different tasks because these are pretty sophisticated products that require complex deployment. But once again, I want to assure you that with Sentinel-1, we have pretty much every ransomware protection component turned on for this test. We did double check and make sure that it is set to quarantine files. All the behavioral detection and prevention components are turned on. But despite that, as you can see, our data is getting encrypted with no end in sight. So far, no alerts. And if we speed this up, you can see that pretty much all our data got encrypted on the desktop. And if we try to open one of these, the system is a bit laggy, so bear with me. But if we do go ahead and try to open one of these files in Notepad, you'll be able to tell that the data is, ooh, completely encrypted. So unfortunately, Sentinel-1 did not prevent the encryption behavior in this simulation. Let's move on to the next one. So here we have CrowdStrike installed. You may have heard them making headlines because of a bad update, but let's see how it works when it's working as is intended. Once again, I'd like to state that it is configured to detect and block threats because I do know it's possible to have them to only notify. And to demonstrate that, I have a basic ransomware sample, well-known black matter on the desktop. We're going to run that and you can see that CrowdStrike Falcon is indeed active and blocking malware when it does recognize it. Now we're going to run the same sample, our attack simulation as we did last time, and we're going to see if it recognizes that. I do not see any alerts so far and our files are getting encrypted. Again, this is all happening in real time. Once again, I want to stress that CrowdStrike is indeed turned on and set to block malware and ransomware behavior, as you just saw with the previous sample. So it's not like we have a misconfigured here or something, unless it's literally impossible to configure correctly. And still, our data appears to be getting encrypted. Again, for those of you who have technical questions about what the sample actually does, I will be answering those towards the end of the video once we get through all the results. So please do stick around for the final conclusions, even if your favorite product has already been tested at this point. All right, so things are not looking good. And if we try to open one of these files, once again, the data is not there. It's all encrypted. There goes the library of Alexandria. And that was CrowdStrike. Moving on. Now we're going to test Sophos. And here we have the home premium product, but we also tested their enterprise product. And the reason we're showing the home product in some of these cases is because the enterprise product performed exactly the same. So once again, we're going to move the same sample to the desktop. We're going to execute it and wait to see what happens. This is the Geronimo moment of cybersecurity testing when you run something that you know is going to damage the system and you're hoping the protection kicks in, does something. We are successfully encrypting a few files. We've gone through the first row and we're still going. And it says attack intercepted. Application has been terminated due to execution of malicious code. And it says it'll check your computer in a few days again. It's interesting that this alert takes over our screen. But once we close it, there's also a different alert and it identifies some kind of method. It looks like a specific behavioral detection. And now if we take a look at the rest of our files, they look to be totally fine. So it took a little time, but eventually it did detect the behavior. And I think it also rolled back the encryption for some of the files. I'm not sure if that's based on backup or not, but our data does seem to be okay. Now, one of the most important things I want to highlight from this test is that it is possible to block ransomware encryption behavior. Because a lot of times when I do these solo tests, people look at it and say, oh, if you execute this kind of code on the system, there is nothing an antivirus or EDR product can do. At that point, you've already made enough mistakes and you deserve to get your files encrypted. That is obviously not true. In these tests, we saw the exact same situation, different products performing differently. There is a distinction to be made. Now I want to answer some basic questions. So why the files on the desktop? It's just the simplest way to visualize what is happening. It would basically encrypt any folder. Second, why am I running this custom code simulation and not well-known ransomware? Well, because 
well-known ransomware can be detected very easily based on signatures, based on hash, based on cloud intelligence, because everybody already knows that this particular file is a known ransomware. What I want to test is the quality of behavioral detections, the ability of these products to detect new and unknown encryption behavior and flag it just because of the nature of what it is doing and not because they have hit several companies because at that point, usually it's too late. A lot of attacks today are targeted, which means if you're the victim, you see the file first. It's not well known until you're hit. There's a lot of good sharing of cybersecurity information. And my goal in this video is to really showcase and highlight that this is a difference. Another thing that motivated me to make this video, a major company who've consulted with us in the past, were using one of these very expensive, very well-known security solutions, and they were recently hit by a ransomware attack that wiped all their data, and there was not a single notification throughout the whole attack process. And I was just speaking with their CISO, who was understandably quite frustrated. So I really think it's important to do more testing with our solutions and really see what they're blocking and what they're not blocking. Because I feel a lot of organizations are under a false sense of security because they have particularly complex or expensive solutions. And what these tests demonstrate is the quality of protection you're getting a lot of the times is not proportional to the cost. So for example, even the free version of Bitdefender that any home user can download blocks this encryption behavior. While you could have an EDR solution that costs six figures that does not. And I'm not trying to make a broad statement. I'm not saying that this is the only test that matters or encryption behavior is the only one test you should look at, but it's also not something that's not relevant. Ransomware is, after all, one of the main cybersecurity threats that costs organizations. And if it is possible to block this encryption behavior, I think more vendors should invest in building the technologies to do that. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And a big thank you to our community members who facilitated this test. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.